Hey everyone, my name's Root and we are here. This is going to be week number seven, I believe, of the MBL, and we are up against Automatic and his um Nuz Leaves. But uh this is gonna be a really interesting team. I built a very, very strange team. I actually have um triple scarf on my team, and I don't know how well it's gonna work out, but I really do think that my team kind of interacts decently well against this. I'm not too too sure, but we do see the Rotom, the Low Punny, the Metagross. Uh, Whimsicott, a Quillfish, and Hydreigon. So right off the bat, no Metagross. No Metagross is insane to me. I struggled really uh, a ton against um, trying to build with this Metagross here. No Landorus, which is reasonably understandable, but um, other than that, no Trevenant. I kind of half expected Trevenant. No Seismitoad is wild to me, like genuinely wild to me. No Florges is also pretty wild to me. Um, This is a very, very interesting matchup. This is a very, very interesting matchup, but I really did struggle against that Metagross. I think, yeah, I don't know why you wouldn't bring the Metagross here. Uh, regardless, my best lead does kind of feel like it would be, I want to say Darmanitan, but I think it's too early for Darmanitan. I also really want to say Latios. Could it be Latios? Oh no, the Metagross is right there. What am I talking about? No. Okay, but the floor just still blows my mind. Um, I kind of do want to lead off with the Metagross. With the Latios. I think I'm going to do that. Uh, so, the point stands. I really still did struggle against the Metagross. Um, I see that he really does love his Metagross uh, in general. I, it, it is one of the KO leaders on his team. Um, well outclassed Megalopony. And uh, second behind the Landorus Incarnate, but not having the Landorus is a little bit surprising to me. He might lean on the Metagross more, so if I can kind of deal with the Metagross in general, that might help me out quite a bit. Um, but let's see here. Yeah, really solid team overall. I'm just really surprised about no Florges, though. I think Florges probably does better for him in this matchup than even the, the Quillfish does, I think. Um... Regardless, this is kind of the situation that I expected myself to find myself in, and I don't, and I'm not really afraid of too too much that this Metagross can do to me offensively, and I can just get off a Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball should pretty much, no matter what, be doing over half. Um, I didn't count out like Assault Vested um Metagross against this Shadow Ball, but I do think I'm safe enough just clicking Shadow Ball here, as maybe tries to set up rocks, maybe tries to uh, Toxic me. Those are the most likely plays I could see him coming out with, as I do get a Shadow Ball off. And I'd be curious. Yeah, it does well over half. Does go for the rocks. Uh, that's what about 65% ish. I guess I should try to figure something out about this Metagross here against my Latios. Metagross. Um, that's about right. I think it has to be at least some bulk investment, at least some HP investment, at the very least. Um, Matt, that's actually pretty much in line with max HP Metagross. But, but regardless, we know that it's going to be some type of investment on that front. I would be... See, this is tough because I really do feel like he would want to go into the low pony here. Do I really care if he goes into, into low pony here? I can just Shadow Ball again. Uh, if anything, his scariest play would be if he went into the Hydreigon. But, the, but that would pretty much confirm that this thing is Scarfed. Um, could go into the Whimsicott. I don't think I'm too, too scared if he tries to go into the low play here. I think just clicking Shadow Ball again is going to be my, my best play here. We do take out the Metagross pretty darn early, which um, is going to be interesting on its own. I really did feel like I struggled against this Metagross, but getting it down by turn two, maybe he expected me to, to, to play myself in that situation and try to overpredict against the low plenty, or he could just be going for a free switch into the um, Hydreigon. Ob again, the Hydreigon, I think, would pretty much confirm Scarf at this point. Uh, Whimsicott would... would, um, would hide what he's doing a little bit better maybe he's thinking about that and wanting to go into the whimsicott just to uh not have to reveal uh hydreigon this early but does go into the hydreigon so i don't have two two great answers of uh on the hydreigon either except i do have the pre-marina i feel like i have to Try to go into the Primary. My Primary, my Primary is Scarfed. My three Scarfers, yes, yeah, so I did mention earlier that, that I do have a triple Scarf strategy going on. My three Scarfers are Noivern, uh, uh, what's that thing called? Darmanitan, 
goes for the U-turn, and the Primarina. Noivern, Darmanitan, and Primarina are all scarfed in this matchup. He knew that I was going into into um, into my Primarina. That's why I went for the U-turn. It was pretty obvious. I had no real counterplay. Maybe going into the Quillfish. That would be super interesting if he does go into the Quillfish. But um, I think no matter what, if he goes into the Quillfish, I think my Decidueye has a lot less to do. So my Decidueye could for sure come in here. My Decidueye was really built to try to take on the, 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 the Metagross. Um, I could definitely see myself just going into the, going into the Decidueye in that situation. I really don't have a lot of great answers for Quillfish. Obviously, my Latios is there, but, uh, goes into the low pine. Okay, that's super interesting. Um, I'm, I'd like to see how defensive I made this thing. Um... Oh, I think if anything, he can tell from the U-turn damage that um, my Primarina is not very physically defensive at all. Yeah, I think he can tell by already by now. So I think my best play might be to go into might be to go into uh, Scizor here. What's my Scissor Bullet Punch doing? Scissor Bullet Punch is doing quite a bit. Um. Let me see here. What about my Decidueye? My Decidueye is my most defensive Pokemon here. We don't take two hits that well. And how well is my Premium taking a hit? A max attack return actually very likely takes me out. What is my premier mainly for? Um, Rotom would be great in the situation. Huh. I think I'm going to... I'm going to just click Moonblast. I'm going to just click Moonblast. He could... See, I, he could be maybe over-predicting. Maybe go uh, high jump kick for the... Scissor switch in. Um, does go for the fake out. Yeah, no, no, fair play, fair play. So now he for sure knows that I'm super offensive. Probably knows that I'm scarved. But um, scarf free marina never outspeeds this um, this low punny. So what I'm thinking is maybe Latios. Okay, so my Latios, if I remember correctly, I think I might have changed my Latios last second. Yeah. Um. Yeah, two returns do take out my Latios. See, I have to rely on my faster Scarfers, which is going to make this uh, matchup really awkward. Do I have anything in particular for the Rotom? I think, yeah, if I let my Premier to go down, I might just lose to the Rotom, so I think I have to keep this around. I think, if anything, it, being able to deal a bunch of damage by switching in the Scizor and getting off a Bullet Punch might be my play, and he doesn't really have... Too many other things I would have to worry about. Um, it was brought primarily for the Florges, and I guess for the Whimsicott, but then, but even then, not really. So yeah, I think I can freely go into my my Scizor here. If he makes the insane play and goes for Fire Punch, then I don't even know what to say at that point. But we, I do have a Banded um, Bullet Punch to, to go off of here. Um. You know, that's a complete other thing, right? So, so I not only had banded, I not only had three Scarfers, but one of my other mods is banded. Um, I don't even know. I don't want to overpredict, but I also don't think he, he would want to stay in here. I do have triple Scarf, so I don't have to worry about this thing too, too much. Like, even if my Scizor does go down, it allows my Noivern in for pretty much frame. It allows my Noivern in for pretty much frame. And I really do want to click knockoff to get whatever's coming in. Let me see here. Scissor probably doesn't not. Yeah, we do not take a high jump kick at all. Oh. I also really just want to go for U-turn here. Hmm. I think I click knockoff. I'm doing it. Does withdraw. Okay. Okay. 
Uh, I think this is, yeah. Yeah, so this was best case scenario, I think. Uh, we do 50% with the knockoff, and we knock off the Rocky Helmet. I think I just sacked this thing off, right? Because I don't think this thing is going to do anything for me in the end game, and, um... I don't know, maybe I... Maybe a clutch bullet punch wins this for me, but but at the same time I have two scarfers that outspeed this that outspeed. Um And just forcing him to overheat might honestly be worth it in this situation. Forcing him to overheat allows him my premier arena, then I can I can pretty freely moonblast at that point, I think. I mean obviously the quillfish is gonna be Um a threat in that situation, but Hmm. I click knockoff. I clicked it. We're gonna see whatever we can do here. It goes for the rest. That's interesting. Um, I'm curious. I'm super curious as to whether or not this thing is sleep talk. Um, it it would pretty much have to be sleep talk, right? A knockoff is still doing respectable damage, so I'm just gonna keep continue to click knockoff here. He knows that I'm banded for sure, but I don't think anything would want to come in. Maybe the Whimsicott at best, but even then, do we see the sleep talk? And if we see the sleep talk, is he gonna roll the the, the, the overheat? Does roll the overheat? Okay. So this makes things super interesting. Rotom Heat. Rotom Heat. Against Latios? No. Mm, nothing's really doing an the damage that I really needed to do. Um, Darmanitan can come in and Rock Slide, funnily enough. Darmanitan can come in and Rock Slide. Premier is not doing quite enough with Moonblast. I think I have to... I think I might have to just take that opportunity here. I could also click Zen Headbutt to protect against the... The... Uh... Quillfish switching in, but then he knows he'll know that I'm scarfed and he'll, and he'll be freely be able to go into a Hydreigon. So yeah, I click Rock Slide here. Uh, and taking this thing out is going to be huge. Again, it. <sighs> okay. If he rolls Volt Switch, then that would be pretty bad. <sighs> oh, that's. That's pretty rough. That's pretty rough. I don't think I can lie about that. That's pretty rough. Um, do I even have Defog on this team? Uh, cause I would like to know. Oh, I made the fourth move of my decision. I roost. I'm sure. I'm. I'm sure at some point I thought about putting Defog on on Decidui, and I didn't. So uh, that was a mistake on my part. It was either going to be the Scizor or the. Zijuai and I probably just got I probably just got mixed up there and thought that I was going to put it on one and never did either so that's going to be uh, where it is as he brings this thing in now obviously low punny is going to be able to take a rock slide but does that make it worth Switching out here. Should I give up the... Yeah, the Roto might be low enough where it might be okay now to give up the... The... Primarina. I might be at that stage where giving up Primarina might be the answer here. And now, with that Rotom so low, that really opens up the door for my Noivern as well. My Noivern is Modest Scarf. Um... 
Hmm. What is my... Yeah. Okay. I think I have to give up my Primarina right now, right? Primarina is doing the least for me. Yeah. It takes on the Hydreigon super well, though. Do I have anything that really manages the Hydreigon? I do have Draco on my... I do have one Draco on my Noivern. Okay. I think I can do that. I think I can reasonably make this play. Otto has a pretty bananas team. He he constructed a really good draft here. Um, This isn't going to be last time we played where I, you know, somehow squeaked by with a pretty convincing win. This is going to have to be a very blow-for-blow uh, blow match. And I just have to match him right now. I don't like that I had to bring two mons that are so weak to, that are so weak to, uh, rocks here, but at the end of the day, I think it's kind of what I had to do. If I, if I have any, if I can chip down the Hydreigon, then Noivern potentially takes out the Whimsicott, definitely takes this thing out, takes out the Rotom, uh, Quillfish is going to be a concern, and, uh... And, again, I just need damage on the Hydreigon. So I need damage on the Hydreigon and the Quillfish in order for this to really, really be something crazy. But, um, my Noivern should have enough speed on it to, uh, it outspeeds base 101. So it show, we, we outspeed Hydreigon that is Scarfed. But he could put me in a very awkward position where, uh, he has a Whimsicott switch in available to him. I mean, the best play has to be to go into... I don't really have a best play here. I think giving up... Um, I think giving up my... My Decidueye is fine here. I don't think that this is a play that I should mind too, too much. Gets the Draco as I avoid it. Okay. Uh, now, does that matter? A whole heck of a lot. Hi, Dragon. Because do I take a Draco just in a vacuum? I should. Okay. Okay. I probably just click U turn here. I'm going to. I think no matter what he switches into, I think, um, if he switches out, if he switches out, switching into my Darmanitan would be best play in this situation. Does withdraw. Uh, that should be the Whimsicott, yeah. And that'll let me go into Darmanitan. Yeah, I think still Darmanitan. I think still Darmanitan is the overall play here. And again, even if he does want to... He still has Quillfish. See, his team covers uh, weaknesses with immunities really, really well. So, uh, the Quillfish is weak to Psychic, which Hydreigon uh, is immune to. Lopunny is immune to Shadow Ball, which... Um, which the Metagross is immune to, and the Hydreigon... You guys get it. I think regardless, I just click Flare Blitz here. He will go into the Quillfish, but at this point, I think damage on this Quillfish is going to be more valuable than uh, anything else at this point, so we're going to do it. But this will put me in a position, I think, where the only way that I truly, truly win this one... That's, that was a crit. Okay, that might be bad. Uh... I think I'm in a position where the only way that I truly, you know, win this one is if in the end of the in the in the end of the game, I sack off. I have to get Neuvern in, in, in a position where it's claiming KOs. He brings in the Hydreigon. I sack off probably the Latios at that point. Uh, I hope that we take this thing down. 
Uh, if we do, then we might have... Yeah, I... I it, that damage looks super dubious to, to win no matter what. But then we'll let him get off the Toxic Spikes. And, um... He's probably at 1 HP, so we actually probably do take the Recoil here. Which means that... Well, it means that he's allowed... That, that he's free to go into... He's free to go into... Uh... He's free to go into the Hydreigon and threaten me that way. Because I can't switch out and... Uh, yeah, the team that he brought against me is just really, really strong here. So, I can for sure lose this one, but... If I can make, if I can somehow make a perfectly timed sack in this one, then I think I can potentially come back in this situation. But a Scarf High Dragon, how much damage is it taking? Uh, oh, he's just gonna fake me out. Yeah, no, that that checks out. Um, let me see here. Noivern, yeah, Noivern Air Slash is not a two hit KO. Um, so let me, let me play out some in games, right? If I bring in my, if I bring in my Latios, then he has to give this to me because I can side shock this thing. Then that allows him to bring in his Hydreigon. I can sack off my Decidueye. That, then I bring in my Noivern. And at that point, we have to make a 50-50 play. If he stays in and, tra and tries to Draco me again, then he beats me straight out. And but if I stay in Air Slash against the incoming Whimsicott, then I potentially take that out. Um, but then I still lose to the Hydreigon then, don't I? Well, no, then I'm in a position where I sack my Latios to the Hydreigon, allow my Noivern back in, hit a Draco, and that's my path, I think. Okay. Okay, I think I probably have other options maybe to win this match, but I think I've already convinced myself that that is probably um, my best route to winning this one. If he goes into the Hydreigon right now... Oh man, he's making the play. No, goes into this thing. Okay. Okay. That's fair enough. I don't think this KOs, but I guess you never know. No. Ah, okay. I think, can we take a Moonblast? Could this thing be Specs? Um, what is this thing called? Whimsicott. Whimsicott. What if this thing is Choice Specs? Oh, Specs Moonblast 100% takes us out. Non-Specs Moonblast potentially takes us out. Actually, almost definitely takes us out because of the prior damage we've already taken. I think I go into Decidueye here, right? Because now Decidueye is in a position where I can take this thing out with U-Turn. Yeah, Decidueye takes this thing out with U-Turn. And if I can maintain this as a sack for the endgame, then I think the overall plan still stands here. Oof, that is a lot of damage. I th I'm pretty positive that specs. And I don't have priority. That is a lot of damage. I don't have Shadow Sneak this week. And that is going to bite me in the butt. But... That might open a slight door for... That might open a slight door for... Noivern? If I go into Noivern and I start trying to hit air slashes. Pixie plate, okay. That's totally fair. Well, now he can If he if, if he clicks Stun Spore, he wins. Stun Spore. Show me Nope, okay. Interesting. Okay, there's the Scarf Dare Slash. And what does that mean for me? It means 
he has to bring in he has to bring in uh Hydreigon right now. I don't think that's a question. But then Yeah. I can sack off my... Oh, no. No. Now I can't win because I've been taking so much stealth rock damage that even if I do put myself in a position where I put the Noivern in front of um, the, the low punny, he can fake me out and he wins. I have to see the course and click air slash here. Yeah, him protecting certain mons in the endgame like that was his ideal way to win. And we potentially take one more KO. But it's either it's either losing 1-0 or 2-0. This is This was a heck of a match. I think I had I think honestly what lost me this match was trying to now we don't even take that um i think honestly what lost me this match was trying to get cute with a scar primarina i think if i brought a much more standard primarina then i think it honestly gives me a much better chance to win as funny as i thought the triple scarf thing was going to be and as much as i thought it had potential to kind of like throw him off of whatever you're trying to do i think i overthought that quite a bit and i think a more standard primarina could have definitely definitely put me in a better position to at least try to take on the high dragon a little bit better and yeah his his team just constructed out of you know things that mutually help each other i think really just ended up hurting me in a way that i could not recover from but uh we played that out as best as we could i suppose um thank you guys so much for watching me back really really soon with the final weeks of the mpl and the apa as well and uh some other things that are coming up really really soon but with that once again thank you guys so much for watching and i'll be once again out